derivatives of hyperbolic functions derivatives of hyperbolic functions first one let us say y is equal to sin hx from hyperbolic functions the definition of sin hx let us write sin hx is equal to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 so this is equal to we can write e power x minus e power minus x by 2 differentiate with respect to x if you differentiate with respect to x we get dy by dx is equal to here 1 by 2 is constant common and d by dx of e power x minus e power minus x this we can write 1 by 2 into d by dx of e power x and minus d by dx of e power minus x now 1 by 2 multiplied by derivative of e power x is e power x and minus derivative of e power minus x is minus x whereas derivative of minus x is minus 1 so this is 1 by 2 into e power x plus e power minus x so which is equal to dy by dx is equal to we get e power x plus e power minus x by 2 could you imagine what is the value of e power x plus e power minus x by 2 what does it mean it is nothing but the formula for cos hx so this is equal to cos hx so therefore here after the differential coefficient of sin hx with respect to x derivative of sin hx with respect to x is equal to cos hx now second one let us say y is equal to cos hx see cos hx is nothing but e power x plus e power minus x by 2 e power x plus e power minus x by 2 differentiate with respect to x d by dx is equal to 1 by 2 common okay d by dx of e power x plus e power minus x now this is half into d by dx of e power x plus d by dx of e power minus x Half into derivative of e power x is e power x plus e power minus x into minus one. So this is half into e power x minus e power minus x. So e power x minus e power minus x by two. See e power x minus e power minus x by two is nothing but sin h x. so this equal to sin hx so d by dx of cos hx is equal to sin hx now let us find out the derivative of tan hx let y is equal to tan hx from the definition of the tan hx 
we have tan h x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x by e power x plus e power minus x or we can write this like this also sin h x by cos h x. So, now this tan h x can be written sin h x by cos h x differentiate both sides with respect to x differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, d y by d x is equal to d by d x of sin h x by cos h x. So, in the previous episodes we have discussed formula for u by v o dash that is equal to v square v u dash minus u v dash. This is u, u stands for sin h x, v stands for cos h x. Now, we can write this is cos h whole square cos h square x cos h x into d by d x of sin h x minus sin h x into d by d x of cos h x. Already we have discussed derivative of sin h x, derivative of sin h x is cos h x, derivative of cos h x is sin h x. So, this is equal to now cos h x into cos h x minus sin h x into sin h x by cos h square x cos h x into cos h x is cos h square x minus this is sin h square x by cos h square x. From hyperbolic functions we have the formula cos h square x minus sin h square x equals to 1. This is 1 by cos h square x. 1 by cos h x is secant h x. 1 by cos h square x is secant h square x. So, d by d x of tan h x is equal to secant h square x. Now, let us find out one more result. fourth one let y is equal to cot h x from hyperbolic functions cot h x is equal to e power x plus e power minus x by e power x minus e power minus x. This is nothing but cos h x by sin h x. Now, this can be written cos h x by sin h x differentiate with respect to x. Now, d y by d x is equal to d by d x of cos h x by sin h x 
this is in the form of u by v formula. 